Sisters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here, yeah, starting off a new month, and we're going to look at a lot of things, but first I'd like to just go, and Mike and the uh, Tiger YouTube want to know about HMY, which is Harmony Gold, um, and that's an ADR, actually I think uh, Harmony was on the Vaal Reefs uh, near Johannesburg, where uh, I grew up as a teenager, I was born in Seapoint, Cape Town, right at the tip of Africa, most beautiful uh, area. They went to this eh, mining town uh, where my father's semi-retired, my mother's twin sister lived. So, um, yeah, so I like this. See, this is the whole thing. I've been talking about this for some time. I've been saying if you've got individual golds or silver stocks that are doing well, that's the way you have to look at this. As you're looking at a broad, look at this GDX right now. If you're looking at the broad GDX, it's not, I mean, this is really not a good-looking chart. It will be if there's a sudden spike from 2853 uh, into the 2930 area sometime early February. That'll be excellent. So far, it's just not doing that. But Harmony, and you're absolutely correct. You've done your channel wave analysis well, Mike. So this is a leg D that it's, so even though it's by just a fraction, this is a leg D. When you go very quickly from a peak B, to just a slightly within a bar to a leg C and then a peak C, and then within a bar you go to a leg D. <clears throat> I'm always a little nervous about that, especially when you're going to a left side high that was a prominent top. And in this case, the high that was made back in December, if I can get my mouse just to start uh, stop wiggling around, there it is. The high of $6.58 on the 22nd of December, then it plummeted good, a hot, big percentage down to the 540 level. Um, yeah, that's a, yeah, 15, 16 percent. Anyway, and now it's come back. But what's what's really nice is the nine period moving average um, is over the 14. Price is way over the nine. The MACD is starting to really improve a lot. The histogram is improving. The, the MACD um, is important because the, the distance, the, the the amplitude of this green line above the uh, pink says that you've got an aperture that says you saw what happened right there when it went to that D and had a Chapman Wave instant restart and it went to another D, then pulled back and it went to that G slash C, which became a G back in December. Um, the amplitude that you get, the width between the green and black lines, the wider it is, the better it is. So in this case, it's starting to widen quite a bit uh, in the MACD. And the stochastic uh, is at 77%. It did touch 80, but now it's at 77%. But it is flat, and that's that's a sign that says mm, not quite there yet. On balance volume is still lagging. Relative strength is a little gray line of the daily chart has improved. Weekly chart, um, the the all the technicals there were actually holding very well. The nine didn't even get close to turning under the 14. This is a really nice looking chart at 6.47. So. Um, if there's a new high, if we see a break, that high could be a leg A or E up. Okay, so in this particular instance, the weekly chart above that uh, 640, what did I say? Well, 640, no, 652. One penny above 652 starts a leg E. And that's very positive. What's really important is that one penny above it starts a leg D in the monthly. It's one of the few gold stocks that I can find anywhere that has actually gone on a monthly chart to a leg D. I like it. I'm not showing tremendous strength right now. I'm showing tremendous resiliency. So the, the, to get this to really break to a whole new level completely, you want to see it. Uh, today is the first, and it's a Thursday. Uh, let's look at our map, our map, our calendar. Yeah, I'd say within a week, by the 9th, if it's held five, uh, 612, and in fact it's gone higher, if it is actually trading, oh, it'll be fabulous. If this thing can get to 663 and close above 663, it's kind of new territory altogether. Even on a monthly basis, it takes you to 2020 when there were big... Uh, 
wicks on the upside, but the body of the candle is never closed. So that's going to be really important. Yes, good eye, good position. And I think this one has the potential. If gold actually starts to turn around sharply in February to the upside, this one should benefit a lot. Great. And I'm going to put it down here. Oh, I did already. HMY is on my watch list. There were a couple of others, but this is, this is one of the better looking ones. Okay. So now let me go to this uh, question that I had here is where are we? I did this in the update, but I'll do it right now. The Dow is up 50 and now it's now up 82. Now, as far as that reversal from yesterday's high, um, all time high of, did I notate exactly what it was? Yes, uh, 38,588. That was the high yesterday, and I have an alternate count. But what's really important is, I, I want to run these numbers, and then I'm going to talk to you about uh, two things. One is the number of, uh, let me just change this here because I'm on the wrong, uh, wrong platform. There we go. Uh, is that correct? Mm, yes. Okay. The number of stocks that have gone to round numbers at all-time highs or very close or within within the day before, the day of, or the day after, either the open or the close or the low or round numbers, just says to me something's going on. The number tells me I haven't seen it like this since I remember the home builders back in 2000, I think it was 7, 2008. I remember Tom and I here in the den, we were looking at it and saying, uh-oh, is this finally when home builders uh, come down? When they finally came down, they really came down. But it took quite a while. And then I started seeing a lot of round numbers uh, before they made their top. But what's really important here is I can't say for sure because I don't, uh, I haven't tabulated that with the history of round numbers. I just know it. I've looked at round numbers, as, as many of you know, forever. I mean, I was it, when the 1987 crash occurred, I had already been monitoring round numbers for quite a while. So, and that just gave that October the 19th low was just incredible. The round numbers in major, major Dow stocks and other stocks. And that just gave a fantastic buy signal. Is this going to be a reversal? Is this, but the action so far today, this is not the bearish action you should see from a serious top, especially, especially with, the, oh, not exactly, but a kind of a Chapman Wave Roman candle um, yesterday, a red, inverted, and even Microsoft. Look at this. Microsoft, look at that. That's a perfect Chapman Wave inverted red Roman candle. And here we are above the body of the candle, up a nine at 407.42. It hit the 14 period moving average. Was that even in was that even thought of as possible 390, the 390s when you were up in the 415 area? Well, that's what happens when you get these sharp reversals. And sometimes let's just go to the VIX index because that VIX index is a great tell. You see, it, sh it shot up sharply over 14 yesterday. I don't like when you're at highs and then the volatility index, which actually is making higher highs and higher lows, has a big spike. As if to say you've been traveling to the downside for a long time and now you're recognizing it. To me, that's always just uh, that's just too too quick a nervous situation. How I'm going to put together the uh, round numbers with all the different things I'm looking at. Let me just finish quickly. S&P now is up uh, uh, 26. This is pretty good action. SPX off yesterday's candle. The day is young, and that's what we're going to talk about when we return. Um, I'll be right back, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I, I, I will continue that, but right now, I just want to look at SMCI, which is Super Micro Computers, at an all-time high as we speak. Yesterday, the high was what? The high was 546.00, round number high. The day before, the all-time high was... 554.44, uh, and now it's gone even higher. So I'm monitoring these. I can't believe, I mean, uh, I, I thought I'd go through all of them uh, this morning. I don't know if I'll have time. But the number of round numbers is saying that there are fund managers that say, I've got to get this or I've got to get out. And that's why they, they, they just, it's easy just to put in the round number. And those round numbers are usually at market turns. And the number that I've seen now says, what's going on? I can't uh, I can't pinpoint it yet other than to say on a purely technical basis, I believe that we are rather overbought on the short term. Only on the short term, I don't see the monthly charts or weekly charts at all in that situation. So with that said, let me just get back to our story here. And now let me just click this on to see where I was a moment ago. I was over there. And what is that? That is, oops. Okay, so uh, let's just go back here. We're looking at um, the QQQ, one, two, three, there it is, um, up 2.66 at 419.62, not acting all that well after yesterday. It's been one, two, three, four, five, six sessions since the all-time high was made. IWM, the Russell 2000, trading up 61. Not that great. It's at 193.42. Now, I just wanted to go for a moment to this. So the gold, you see the way that I had said yesterday, there's a chance that today, if there's a sharp move down <clears throat> in the gold, that the, the 9 period moving average could flip positive. That'll be a good thing. The MACD is good. Stochastic's rising. The, on, the relative strength has actually been rising for a few, actually for about a week. Uh, so that says that gold, based on these technicals, I would have said that gold should be right now uh, probably testing the high that was made on the, in the continuous contract on the 16th of January at 2081. It's at 2064. Now it's only down two. <clears throat> it is improving. So that's important. Look at the silver. The silver is um, down 13 ticks. It's just not acting very well. I need to put high-grade copper now. People ask me. Sharp move down in high-grade copper. I also need to go to the GDX one more time. Uh, the GDX is trading 
underneath yesterday's high, this is Chapman Wave Roman candle. If it stays in this range for another 30 minutes or so, it could actually test yesterday's high of 28.77. It's at 28.50 right now. Uh, looking at SLV, that's a silver, that's an ETF or ETN, what is it called? Trust. I share silver trust. Not looking very good. I want to go to the TLT, TLT right now, up very sharply in this in this leg A, still great leg A because the technical is only now starting to improve, but the nine period moving average has crossed positive. You see, there are a lot of things here that are saying if yields come down, if the dollar, uh, let me just do the dollar one more time, if the dollar which is pulling back now down four ticks at 103.48 actually starts to go to the 102.50 area over the next three days. Then, you, then you, that should help the market. The the dollar holding up here with the USD JPY. That's the currency. So I'm doing this um, to show you that the currency has made a peak D, just as gold did, but it's also pulling back very gently. It is making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, that weekly chart, the week still has another day and a half to go or more. Um, and it's L, that means the nine period moving average is just about to cross positive, but it hasn't. Uh, I have to wait for it to officially do that at four o'clock tomorrow. And if you look at the EUR, USD, mm -mm, uh, that's gone right. Look at the 200 period moving average. It was support before, it went under it for a, a day or two, and then it ran very sharply higher. Now it's tested many times, too many times, in fact. It's making it, and the stochastic's flat. You see the stochastic at 19%? If it made that U-turn like it did there, that would be fabulous for a turn up. This just says, uh -uh, nothing to see yet, folks, in the euro. So I just needed to do that. Now there are a couple of things that I want. To, I think I've covered almost everything I wanted. Just one more time, crude oil, uh, crude oil uh, up 96 cents at 76.81. It hasn't broken out. Which it, it seemed to hint the other day when it went to that peak D that if it held the nine period moving, sorry, the 200 period moving average at 75.81, but it didn't. And today's high is 70, uh, 70 did I say 70? Yes, yeah, 76.81. And right now, 76.95 was the high. Now, I think I said that incorrectly because the 200 period moving average is 77.01. Sorry. Okay. So this is what I wanted to go through. I, uh, no, before I do that, I had a question that I need to get to right now. URNM, uranium. The question was, um, can I do an analysis on uranium? And what I've done for quite some time, it's in months, it's about six, seven months now, I've been saying uranium is starting to move. Something's going on internationally that says that uranium is not going to have the kind of move that goes up and then comes down sharply, gives everything back. There's a chance that in 2024, uranium has a much, much stronger move than we've seen in a long time. I'm calling this daily a leg D, even though it could be a brand new am Just for now, I'm calling it a D. Uranium up 3.32 at 57.63. This is the Sprott Uranium Minus ETF. It's broken out in the... Um, it's broken out in the monthly chart. I typed this in, and I forgot to put, I think I did it, why am I? I think I did it in the URA, that there was a Chapman wave overlapping wave. Let me just, yeah, there it is. The Global X Uranium ETF made a 31.60 peak C back in 20, uh, about November or so, 2022, 21. Then it pulled back quite sharply, and then it had underneath it, it had a peak A, then another peak A, B, and then I drew this in when we went long the U, U R A. Well, what am I saying? No, U E C, U E C, which is the Uranium Energy Corporation. And I had said at the time, and in fact, just the other day, I had this down that I wanted to add to it, and then I decided not to. That had a big spike, um, and one of the things that we're looking at, we've been long, look, since there, uh, URA, I think, uh, sorry, UEC, I think we've been long since August. Yeah, August of 2023. So one of the things I looked at, I said, that nine-period exponential moving average is so strong 
that it looks to me in the weekly chart that this could be a continuous move to the upside. And if let's go back to the URA for a moment, because you can see the URA had the same thing, right? And it's just gone to a leg D in the weekly chart as we speak right now. This is a leg, I'm calling, I guess, a leg B. I guess that might be an A in the uh, UEC. But in the meantime, I'm calling this a leg B in the in the daily chart. Most importantly, what I typed in here, in fact, let me make this darker so you can see. This is a Global X Uranium ETF. And what I wanted to show you is this. There's a technique I developed years ago where the price goes up to a peak B or a C and then it fails and then underneath it, it has a gray A and a gray B, but it looks so powerful that if it goes to another C and then pulls back, you can get what I call a chap wave overlapping wave that says you will go to a D and you can get a chap wave cup and ladle pattern. That's not a cup and ladle, I'll talk about it. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So let me just sum up, because I have just a ton of questions coming in. Uranium, spot uranium minus ETF. Um, that is uh, trading right now up 3.44, up 6.33%. I am calling this just for now a D, but really everything about it says that um, it's holding very well. It's gapped up, but it's gapped up before, then it fills the gap, and then it goes higher. The leg D and the, and the technicals are all um, 
mixed. And that's the reason why I held off just a tad to say we will add to our UEC on because we've already taken nice profits off some parts of it after our core position. Uh, but I wanted to add back to those. I am looking to add back. And one of the reasons is I think this is only a leg C in the monthly chart. I don't think it is. A leg C in the Chapman wave. Oh, the reason why I was at the URA was to discuss this. So in this technique that I developed, a cup and ladle, a cup and handle is where you go to the previous high, the, the lip on the left side, and then at that point you stall, and then you make a little bit of a cup formation. So you've got the big cup, and now you're making a little handle, and then it breaks out. On Investors Business Daily, has, I mean, forever, as long as uh, uh, O'Neill had his uh, techniques in there, uh, that is a major thing. But you've got to get that, you've got to get the lip exactly on the right side with the pullback. Because my theory always has been that the handle, the cup and handle, is, is a lousy pattern because you invariably go up and then you come back into the handle. That's what happens almost not with a Chapman wave cup and ladle. That's a breakout to the upside that says you're going to go from a, a, a peak C to overlapping the previous one, and that should be give you a really strong leg D. And that's really a much more powerful move. And this so far is only starting a leg D. I don't know where it's going to go, but all the technicals in the monthly chart, that's the longer term. That's your longer, your larger tide. These are little mini ties here. So the, the mini tide says on a very short term basis, it's getting a little choppy. Choppy might equate to toppy, but actually I'm just saying choppy. Uh, but the bigger picture says it should go high, and I don't know what that means geopolitically or globally. I just don't know. But it's a very good sign. Okay, so I've done that. Next question was um, TLT. Let me go back because this is really important. So the yields are going higher. The TBT, which is the inversion, um, that made it. Let's refresh. There it is. Made a peak D in the Chapman wave, and the nine period moving average has just gone negative. So I have to wait for the end of the day. But at this point, I'm very close to giving this a down arrow, which means it's in a sell signal, very close to a sell mode. And that says it yields. <laughs> this is so fascinating. Yields are doing very nicely. Let's just look at Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers made a round number 100, almost at the top, most recent all-time high. Most recent, the all-time high recently. Where was it? It was 99 on the 14th of uh, December, and then the next day it made an all-time high of 105.95, and then it made a high of, uh, no, then it made a round number uh, within day 100, 100. So it's got all these round numbers, and where is it right now at 99.56? Um, and that just says to me that the, the yields coming down and the home builds, this means that you must keep an eye, but these home builds are very overbought just on a purely visual basis, the technicals say that MACD in the uh, weekly chart of Toll Brothers is still strong. The 9 is way over the 14. It's going to take a, a pullback to the 87 area or lower before the 9 period in the weekly chart goes negative. So let me just try to put the package together because it, it's ongoing. It's a week ago that I started talking about um, – Yes, secular move in uranium. That's what I'm looking at right now. Now, let's just go back to uh, where we are at this particular point. I, I just wrote down, you know, that I, I can. Let me just do this. Look, Meta. Meta had a 398 round number. Yesterday's high, uh, three days ago, the high was 406.38. Uh, yesterday's uh, high was 398.00. Is trading at 399.47. Now, in a sense, the way I had always done round numbers, that going to, if it's on the upside, going to a new recovery high after that round number doesn't negate it. It just says you have to wait. It's going to become important, but it's not important right now. Okay. But then, because uh, I mistyped something in the den, I thought, oh, let me look at MET, which is MetLife. And lo and behold, MetLife made a high yesterday, uh, not an all-time high, the all-time high was 77 back in 2022. But it made a high yesterday of what? 
71.00 and it's now down almost four points at 65. Now you tell me, huh? 77.00 around, around number high. I, you know, something's going on, and it's a, it's a leg F, maybe a peak F in the uh, weekly chart. And this is interesting because it's gapped down. It's a huge gap down today. It's down 4.8%. That was just serendipitous because in the den, I typed in METS, made this, but I meant META. And I can just go on and on and on. I mean, uh, GD, this is uh, General Dynamics. Made it 269 open on its all time high yesterday. I, I just could go on and on and on. I don't want to waste time doing. Look, Vertex, isn't that the company that has the, the new um, diet uh, medication? Vertex uh, opens at 430 round number three days ago, has a 448.40 high, and is trading at 434 right now. Uh, yeah, so the round number was at the bottom, it ran up, and now it's it's tootling around there. I, I mean, I just, uh, Microsoft, uh, we've already done Microsoft. Otis Elevator, Otis Elevator um, had a 90 the day before it made its attempt at an all-time high yesterday and then turned around. So that 90 is trading right now at 88.54. You just don't get round numbers, this number of round numbers. If there isn't something going on now, the question is, what's going on? I'll deal with that in a few minutes' time. But most importantly, I want you to um, go through uh, in the uh, let's see, a question came up. I where did I see? It? Where did I see? It? Yes. So a question came up. Uh, let me just deal with it right now. So this is. Natural gas, because I think natural gas just had something come out. Natural gas, uh, the, the, the letters you see here are all notated by me by hand, every single thousands and thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of charts have I noted, notated by hand. But when the continuous contract gets reconfigured, I lose those notes, I lose the letters right above the note, I have to redo it. So this did go peak A. B, C, it went to a peak D, natural gas went to a peak D in the continuous contract on the 9th of January at 3.109, pull back, and even now it is down uh, 0.01 to 2.08. Man, United States natural gas, uh, what is going on? Not a good job. Dow's up 138, S&P's up 29. Not bad after yesterday's big pullback. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, we're back. So, uh, within the context of the question, comes up. There's a question that I've had a lot. I, at significant lows, I like to see round numbers. At highs, periodically I will look and I'll say, oh, isn't that an interesting round number? And then I pull back very sharply. Look at this. Here's, here's one. Uh, let's see where it is. I haven't even followed it for a, a while. Here's Toyota Motors. It makes a 202 point round number. You remember I spoke about this about a week ago. And what happens? It has another pop to the upside with the tiniest doji candle. T doji candle means that you open and close at about the same price. But I'm also looking at the the, the, the amplitude of the candle. It's just it has a high of 202.41 and a low of 201.51, three less than three points when it has much bigger moves. And what does it make? A 202.41 high, and right now it's trading at 200.56. So. I, I tend to watch those things very closely um, to see if, in fact, especially with all the little doji candles at these highs and then it pulls back, um, I put it in. And then it tells me over a period of weeks whether or not that was important. But I needed to mention it because it is something that over the years I've taken a lot of time to, to notate the ones that occur, and invariably they they occur at market changes. Now that doesn't just oh my god that means we're going to go we're going to crash. No, it just says that there's a chance that we in that fund managers are saying I've got to have the stock and I'm not going to type in 222.31. I want it 220. Go give it to me. Or they say I got to get out. This is just way too much. Uh, I, I'm very nervous about this. I'm taking some profits. And then they just put in this quick bid, right, at a price. Instead of saying at market, they put it in at the price. And that says to me that there's something that I cannot ignore. So what I'm saying is, I mean, let's just see. Okay, let's go to uh, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, very important stock, makes what? A multi, a multi, almost a two-year high at 386.00. When? Yesterday. Uh, no, that was the open. The open was 386. That's right. That's what it says. Open. The high was 393.91. And it closed at 384. And now it's down today, 99 cents. Why is this important? Because Goldman Sachs is, uh, I mean, this is at the high, uh, right here, at the almost the recovery high. To me, it's an important thing. I don't know what it's going to mean later on. But when I see this many, um, CRM, Salesforce.com, Salesforce makes the tiniest little doji candle high three days ago. It had a 311.25 November 2021 high, 
it plummets down to the hundred and what was that? I can't remember. I, I typed it in. Hundred about a hundred and, and um, ninety something low, <clears throat> screams up again, and it rallies back to two ninety. A hundred point rally. That's fantastic. And then what happens is, uh, where did I put the? Oh, day before, on the twenty uh, ninth of January, it goes to two. Uh, it the low is two eighty three. No, 281, and it goes to a high on the 30th of uh, 289, 29. Here it is at 283, and it's pulling back a little bit. So I'm making note that there, and, and the month, the weekly chart is only in a leg C. So that just says, yeah, this could be a time or a price pullback. I don't know yet, but I'm putting in the cards. It's one of the reasons why we've started short positions um, so far. They're kind of working, but wow, to say the day is young and the week is young and the month is young. This is just based on other techniques that I use. And all I can say is that the market has to tell me whether or not I'm correct or not. So the question came in, and this is what I wanted to get to. And this, I think, is really important. In my... Yeah, I read the uh, YouTube comments. Uh, Mike had a question. Yeah, I already did it. H and Y, we did it. So David in New York, we've already done that. So let me do this. The SMHs, that's the Semiconductor ETF. This is the Van Eck ETF. SMH is a symbol at 186.23, up 35 cents, made a high of 195.90. It wasn't just a high, it was a leg C in the monthly. It was a... P, a doji, uh, uh, kind of almost like a butterfly, long legged doji with a very uh, tiny uh, body. It's like, it's a doji type candle in the in the weekly chart. Probably going to make a peak D if by uh, tomorrow at four o'clock it hasn't gone above 195.90. Um, it has this red candle at a peak E, um, and that is on the 20 on the 25th of January goes to 195.90, and then it gaps down, and it hasn't really fulfilled that. You remember advanced micro devices? Wait, advanced micro devices? Yep, advanced micro devices trading at 168.60 right now, 93 cents after making an all-time high leg D in the monthly, only a B in the weekly, and um, F slash C in the Daily chart at 184.92, pull back quite sharply, but the 9 is still way over the 14. Magdi has just crossed negative. Sikasti has just gone negative under 80%. On balance volumes pull back. The um, uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA had a round number. Listen to this. Has a doji candle on the 30th of January. A tiny little doji candle after being one of the most spectacular stocks from 100 back in 2022. It screams to 634.93. It has an open on the 30th of 629.00. It has a low. It gaps down yesterday and has a low of 107, round number. And then it bounces today a little bit up 6.70 at 621.91. This is going to be a clue. If next week, I don't care where it goes in the interim, if next week it closes under 6, it said. 622. That means it'll be down 30 points. That's a 5% a or so. So if it closes down under 690, under 690, let alone 677, which is where the pink nine period moving average will occur since the green is so, so far above it. It's a long way to go. And it's in the leadership position. It is the leadership stock. But Stocks, no matter what happens, get tired. And this move to the upside says there's a chance that there's some kind of a, a, a digestive phase right now starting in the semiconductors. Look at uh, advanced micro uh, at AMT. This is AMT. AM, applied materials makes a peak D in the Chapman wave um, and gaps down, has a full the gap uh, from the high of the 178s. It's now at 165. Peak D, almost certainly in the weekly chart. So I'm just saying to you that there's a chance, and this is the way I'm playing it, that we are making some kind of a, a rotating a, a top in the markets. Spent a lot of time trying to talk about that, didn't I? Um, and we'll see. And the evidence is going to be 
Um, only by Friday of next week we will know. Uh, ACQ, AQST, let me just do that for the Dan. AQST. Yeah, nice move up today. Um, 2.57. It needs to get to 263. It's already start garnering upside. In TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content stream live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, let me do this real quickly. So I had a question then about Marvell. It's in the uh, semiconductor area. Um, it made a, a new recovery high at a peak D uh, a few days ago at around number... Uh, no, it had around number 70. Where was that 70? Was it... Round number 70. We had a round number 70 close. 
at peak D at its most recent high, and now it's trading at 65. Be careful. Question about MSOS. This is a sector. I'm not saying be careful. I'm saying this is looking good. Advisor shares pure U.S. cannabis sector up at 18 at 9.57. Leg F, it could be an instant restart. Leg C in the weekly chart. I like the sector very much. We're in it. And uh, yeah, so just let me say that my, I said to subscribers this morning that if there's any rally that fails today and the, and the Dow closes lower, the general market closes lower, that's what you want to see if you're bearish, which we are right now. So have a great day and uh, stay tuned for Steve Rose for all the great programming coming up. I will see you tomorrow. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.